WRMB. Okay, it's the Proganista. Let me turn down Mr. Usher Raymond before he gets me a copyright. Um, it is May 10th, Friday. And can y'all believe we are back in jackets? Oh, y'all have fallen down a little bit. Hold on. There we go. Me and Jersey are going to go get us something to eat. It is prom night for Mirabella. And it's raining and it's cold, which kind of sort of is a good thing. Because Mirabella's attire is long sleeves. I just found out her sister won't be able to come down and be part of the festivities. Um... I know he's not feeling well today. And um, I talked to her the other night. She was drinking some tea. And she just said, Mom, I have a scratchy throat. I think I'm going to leave work early today. And uh, I don't think I'm coming down. And I feel bad, you know, because she's been there with her sister through thick and thin. But Mirabella already knows how to do her makeup. She already did a trial run with her makeup. She already did that. So she already knows how to do that. She just kind of wanted her sister here. Um... You know, but it's okay. It's going to be okay. I'd rather her get her rest. Mother's Day weekend this weekend. I'm fine. Um, I'm fine. So that's it. This will be just a, probably, maybe just a prom vlog. We didn't have to have any alterations at all, which is good. It's prom time! It's prom time! Hey! Hey! It's senior prom time, and I took these out of the closet. Pictures of the prom young lady. Yeah, this is Mirabella when she was two years old. I remember taking this at uh, Sears. Yeah, she had a little sailor suit on. And I remember her shoes were silver. Now she's not in silver tonight, she'll be in gold. Yeah, so that's one picture of her over here. Yeah. I saw this picture, I saw the same. Oh. And there she is that same day. Yeah, she did not want to take a picture to save her nothing. She would not smile and then this one lady came in and made her get all giggly. Yeah, her second birthday. So I thought it'd be a good time to share these pictures. They were in the closet. This used to be in Mirabella's room when she was a little girl before we changed up. And then back here, here's another picture of my baby girl. Hey, Mirabella. Oh my goodness. Yeah. That's Mirabella, y'all. These are the shoes she will be wearing tonight. And I'm just gonna show you a little bit of her outfit. And I keep saying outfit. I wonder how many of you guys have peeped that. Yes. It's a choice of nails. She still has not picked. I don't know what nails she's wearing. Her accessories. And these are her nails. I'm not sure which one she's going to pick. Have you picked yet? I don't know. I don't yeah. know. She has an option now. And then we sh I showed y'all all that yesterday. Her undies. Okay. So that's it. Oh, I can show y'all this, I guess. Bam! Y'all know Mirabella likes doing the head pieces. Beautiful head back. There you go. There she is. I kept saying outfit, y'all. I never did say what she was wearing. Looks pretty. Thank you. Senior prom 2024. Oh, shoes. There we go. That's the fit. Lovely. Okay, let me see if I get a couple of pictures. The fountain's not on, so you're just going to get over here? I just want to go in front of it. Well, Mary not even on. So? In front of it. Like, you stand right here, maybe, and, like, I don't know. I don't know if it's too far. Like a, like a photo like that. Okay.
Mother's Day. I'm in Magnolia's room. Magnolia got sick, so she couldn't come home. I got my roses this morning. They're beautiful, too. They're gorgeous. They're like a very, very deep red, and every single petal is gorgeous. I don't see one little speck of anything on any petal. They are so pretty. I got my Mother's Day car from Mirabella. Happy Mother's Day. Yay. And Mirabella bought me some turtles. Yes, she did. She bought me a whole bag of turtles. Because she knows I love those. I'm like the mom on Everybody Hates Chris. Thank you, Mirabella. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. Um... Like I said, I'm in Mirabella Magnolia's room that is kind of, um, uh, is being storeroom central. Uh, Mirabella got dressed yesterday for her prom. So I shoved everything that was in my guest bedroom in here since I knew Magnolia wasn't coming home. Again, she's not feeling well. Feel better, Magnolia. But I love being in Magnolia's soft, comfy bed. I came in here this morning. Uh, it's about almost 8. Art was still sleeping. I wanted to go through a couple of things on my phone. And when I came in here, Mirabella came in here and uh, FaceTimed me with Magnolia on the phone and bought me my Mother's Day gifts. So I'm saying Happy Mother's Day to you all. I was telling you guys about Mirabella's prom. Yes. Her prom was Friday night. And she looked gorgeous gorgeous so it looks like it's going to be a pretty day out there um it's still chilly here yesterday was downright cold and the day before was rainy and cold as a matter of fact maribella's prom was rainy and cold but the rainy uh but the rain made pretty pictures so yeah so just popping in to say that to y'all happy mother's day and to all the people who don't have your mothers here, y'all know I don't have my mama here anymore. And um, for me, I'm telling myself it's going to be okay. This makes, um, I don't even know how many years. Are we working on like, I'm not even going to try to guess because I always forget. Truth be told, y'all, I don't even know when my mom died, honestly. I promise you I don't. I block all that stuff out. That day is so out of my head that I promise you that I do not know where my, my own mother passed away. I guess if I think about it, I'll, you know, I do, but, but it's going to be okay. I'll do it fine. I watched, um, at least I heard the episode of Abbott because I, I refuse to watch it. I've just been trying to stay away from people talking about it and, uh, it'll be okay. I'm, well, I'll be okay. I don't, you know, I hope that you guys will be also, some of you may have lost your moms recently, and I'm not even going to lie. That that ain't no joke. I, there are no words that anybody can tell you, even if they've lost a mother, that can console you in that time, except that I will be keeping you in my prayers, and that's real talk. Uh, I'm just saying a prayer for all the first year mothers, first month mothers, being here without your mother. I'm thinking about uh, a couple of people I know who have said to me in other people's comments, somebody, I was watching somebody's live the other night and she just lost her mother in April. And uh, talking to Magnolia, she has a friend that lost her mother two years ago. I told Magnolia to cut her some grace, seriously. Because it is just no, it's just no words, no words. But on that note, yeah, just thinking about y'all. And y'all are definitely in my prayers. And if you're just at the stage where you can't even hardly bear or bear it, I've been there also, just get through the seconds. Just get through the seconds. And if you feel like today is the day you just want to go in your room and not come out, and if you're able to do that, you don't have small children to take care of, do it. And if you have older children, let them know that this is a hard day for you. And as much as you appreciate their love, you know, mommy's just going to take some time out to, you know, enjoy whatever y'all do for me. But I'm also going to take a few moments out for me and my feelings. And if those feelings are you just want to go in the door, you know, go in your room, close the door. Don't come out till Monday morning. Have at it. As long as everybody's being taken care of. 
which could be your Mother's Day present, real talk. Yeah, so happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. And I, I always include in this section um, caretakers. I think that uh, if you've taken care of uh, someone in the mother role, whether it be an aunt, an uncle, a cousin, a sister, a brother, a grandma, uh, God, mama, a play cousin, you know how it is. Sometimes, you know, our village had to step up when mamas weren't there. So if you took that role, happy Mother's Day to you, too. I hope I didn't forget anybody. Yep. Yep. TT, uncle, junior. Yeah, all y'all. Happy Mother's Day. I think I want to go down to Borgata today. Yeah, I got a taste for their buffet. Haven't been down there in a few months. Hope it's the same. I'm going to try to get up early because, again, it's like 8 o'clock now, so we should have probably already been up. I kind of want Art to sleep in because, you know, he works so hard. But that's what I want to do today. I want to go to Borgata. Yeah, I might turn the camera back on so this can be a longer video and uh, y'all can see what our weekend basically, you know, basically has been like. Yeah, but happy Mother's Day. They didn't play this at the prom? No. Then you're right then. That was a lame prom if, if they didn't play this. No Drake. No Drake, no Kendrick, no this, no J. Cole, no Beyonce. Who's, who's choice? Wait, wait. No Beyonce. No Beyonce. Okay, again, a lame prom. She was right. Who was uh Who's the DJ? Who, 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 wait a minute, who chose the DJ? Well, if you can have a white guy who up on pop culture. Yeah, he, if he didn't play who, Beyonce. Who chose the DJ? Wait, would they, they play a lot of Taylor Swift? Yeah. I don't, I don't know about Taylor Swift. Oh, okay. We don't know about Taylor Swift. Yeah, remember, I said her prom was lame. She had more fun at the diner. And if they didn't play this banger, they didn't play it. nobody like you. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. I'm about to go get me some Borgata. Thank you, family. You're welcome. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you, because I know Artie don't feel like driving down here, yes, but. Yeah, I don't mind. <laughs> so, anyway, it is cold here today. I have on my toasty um, turn seven, $2.50. Hey. I have on my turn seven sweatshirt dress. I know it's going to be really cold at the shore, but that's okay. We're just going popping in real quick. Mm -hmm. My other daughter is not feeling well. She didn't come home this week. Did they play this? No. What? It is a very suggestive song, though. No, but they did. They played on. They, they didn't play King Charles. It was all like. Well, remember, it's kind of hard to play this as a clean song. Okay, but they're playing Future. That was like the one rapper. Now. Really? Oh wow. Oh well. That's how Mirabella's prom went. She looked cute, though. My baby looked cute. She was cute. Right, Mirabella? Yes. That was a humble yes, too. Pretty is as pretty does. Cutie is as cute does. That was a humble yes, right? She was cute. Say hey, Mirabella. Hi. 12th grade year. Tomorrow's senior skip day. Uh, we get ready to wind this year down, seriously. Yeah. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all when we get to Borgata. All right? Okay, I haven't done this in a while. No, how are you? Good, how you doing? Which way? Where? Where? Uh, where you see a dog? It was over there. Uh, we can go straight. Oh, look at the dog. Where? We can go that way or we can go all the way around, right? Yeah. Oh, wait, wait. I might put a couple of dollars in the slot if daddy yeah, lets me. Huh? If you let me. Absolutely. I think we should hit that way, y'all. It's easier, right? Yes. She can go on the floor, right? Come on, Marabella. Yeah, we can go right to the middle. Yeah.
We're still waiting. Mirabella looking through her phone. And I said Mirabella's looking through her phone. But I did want them. But when they said I couldn't have them, I kind of said to myself, oh, okay, well, I didn't want any anyway. Uh, right? No. Yep. Took us a while to have you guys, but God told me I couldn't have any and messed around and had two of y'all. Yep. A perfect Mother's Day weekend. As I leave out, I want to show y'all my little turn seven sweatshirt dress yes this is what i had on today two dollars and fifty cents mm -hmm. i wore it with my cute little spiri white boat shoes yes i did all right guys thanks for watching at jazz hands see you in the next one